Every time I take a bit of a break from Doom, my request list just gets out of hand. So let's make a start on it again with the Cage Under Sight 19. This is a fairly epic map by H. Jordan 159. Um, got 422 monsters on Hurt Me Plenty, uh, which isn't as epic as uh, the other one I did, the Marax Dungeon. Uh, it's it's not War and Peace, it's more like a Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, so we'll see what happens. Oh, this is great so far. I've obviously just uh, risen from my grave and have to fight through the other zombies. Oh, wow. That's a great uh, incorporation of the building into the skyline. That's that's really good. It's very challenging to do that. <laughs> Don't really want to waste so many bullets on it. There we go. All right. So there was a choice of routes back there. Suppose I have to do one of them first. I have a, a weird, what I think is a weird habit of um, when I'm presented with a choice, I sort of try to explore them both at once and go back and switch between them before eventually uh, deciding on one. And I think that might uh, be disadvantaging me. So let's just choose one and go for it here. All right, uh, okay, we found another little base. I'm oh, gonna just step out the window, actually. <laughs> Let's uh, do a slow save. Oh, I've, uh, <laughs> that fired! Hang on. Uh, what's my, what's my quick save then? Is it F6 now? No, that's, that's not it. Either. Yeah, that's it. Okay, right. Brief technical difficulty has been overcome. I remember why I did that now. I, uh, replaced, uh, I replaced the fire button with quick save because uh, it <laughs> because it makes things easier that way, and because I usually use the mouse, but I had to use the keyboard to get the uh, stuff uh, footage for the icon of sin level because it was important that I didn't use auto aim there. It seems to be quite stingy on ammunition so far, so I'm going to try to economise. Maybe I'm not, because the zombie can't hit the imp. Some greats here. These look a bit weird when they're pasted directly onto walls, because you get the black spots. What you really want to do with these is make them mid-textures, uh, and then have uh, some scenery behind them. Are these going to be... Uh, yeah, that looks like these doors are going to be unopenable. <laughs> Sorry. You, uh, you know what, I'm going to change that right now, because otherwise you'll have a sudden firing throughout the video. Um, what is it? Map controls other... There it is. F5, F7, quick save. Put that on control. Because it's just sitting there. It's under my pinky finger, and, I'm don't, and I don't use it. All right. Now he can't come down here because of the width of the stairs. Whoop. Oh, nasty. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> what I was afraid was going to be the problem. All right. Ah. Again. Hello. All right. I should have, uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that, uh, this one's topic said, remember that jump and crouch are enabled, so, uh... That's the trouble with reading so much of my request list at a time, and then deciding which one to do. Alright. Yeah, there's definitely no way to get that otherwise, so jumping's, jumping's allowed. A door is open! 
Well, it's not that one, is it? <laughs> it's interesting that, um... Because I often talk about being able to find out what switches do. And, uh... Putting up a message on the screen is... I don't want to say a clumsy way of doing it, because it is appreciated. But how much information do you give the player? Do you say a door is open? Are you going to give me a clue about which one? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's best. Yeah, I'm not doing too well on the health here either, am I? All right. Oh! Hello there. Ow! Let's do that again. Better random number generation this time, perhaps. We'll see. <laughs> no, exactly the same. Oh dear. Maybe I should have uh, eased myself back into playing Doom. There we go. Alright, before I go and get that... Actually, no. Why am I delaying this? That's a plasma gun up there. There we go. Ah! <laughs> Nice trap. Well laid. Well, <laughs> well executed. Oh dear. Yeah, coloured lighting as well. That's nice. And is that... Is that the texture itself? Might be. I don't know. I had thought that uh, having uncovered a secret, I would just be home free with that, but uh, you proved me wrong. We're doing okay. Oh, I like this bit. The curved stairs and the uh, star walls. And I love the uh, the lighting detail that's been put in. I'm not sure if this is uh, sector lighting or if it's just uh, textures that happen to be cyan. No, I think there is, I think there is lighting here. It's, uh, it's really nicely done. Thank you. Oh. Right, so... What should I deal with first? I used to be convinced that uh, Dead Marine had... Uh, weapon modifications because the chain gun just feels so much more meaty and uh, effective but it doesn't it's uh, it's just a graphical change shoot the caca demons you bald get Oh, now he sees me. Uh. All right, that's opened my way to the courtyard. I really like the use of all the computery textures and all the in and out bits. That's really nice. And the color lighting as well, that's great.
All right. So, uh, that supercharge, I'm going to leave until, well, no, I'm not going to leave that until later. I wish I'd left it until later. <laughs> Where is he? Right, I just wanted to get that revenant as soon as I possibly could. Going to have problems! Oh, what's that? Oh, I'll have that! That's an excellent prize! Alright, uh... We certainly got that supercharge and uh, didn't waste any of it in the encounter. So that's great, but what did that give me? I suppose that gave me the blue key, so we can go back and uh, see what we can do with that. All right. And there's another prize I've been looking for. No traps this time. Oh, Arachnatron. A couple of them. Penny said something weird about the uh, Arachnatrons in Zelda the other day. She, There were two of them in one of the shrines, and she said... She said, oh, they're brothers. I now said, well, robots don't have brothers, only transistors. She didn't get it. Well, I, I'm actually going to step back a bit just now, because I remembered about the alternative route uh, all the way back at the start that I ignored. Ah, uh, that door is the one that opened. The door was open from the message that said the door was open. And that becomes a secret, okay. Ah! Difficult uh, place to put someone in. That should do it. All right, then. Oh, I can't go back anymore, can I? Because uh, it's all up there. All right. Never mind. Still uh, on the hunt for this uh, titular cage. Uh, where are we going? Yeah, beyond the blue door. There's a lot of them around here. Maybe we should try to get up first, I don't know. There's so many uh there's just so much detail. You don't you don't uh, leave a blank wall. You always split it up with something and have some different details. That's that's really nice. I 
I also appreciate that um, the windows are aligned with the uh, lines in the textures. Oh, for the most part. Um, because it's difficult to get that looking right. Sometimes the textures kind of constrain you to a certain uh, uh, a certain geometry. Oh no! What a dramatic escape! Done. Okay. I should be watching my ammunition again, I think. In case they come out. How did that come around that corner? So the Revenant's missiles have it in for me. As by definition they do, and so does every other monster in the map. But that's not the point. Oops. Got to stay watching out for cacodemons in fairly enclosed spaces. Oh. Hang on a minute. Right. Hello. Come at me, come on. Completely disinterested. There we go. Olay. Ah. Oh, hi there. No, no, don't, don't do that, please. Okay. I survived. Whoops. My survival was not to last long. All right, I had some uh, very nice coincidental inviting there. I do like these uh, these wall details. They're not just uh, the computer terminals that I stick into every corner of my map. They're they're much more vari uh, There's a much more varied collection of little techy sector things, and I really appreciate that. Oh dear. Ah! <laughs> I was hoping to make a brave runaway. Yeah, didn't work. <laughs> How did I escape without them hitting me? Right. So I should mention that this is a uh, this is an improved version of the map uh, from the first release. Uh, one of the major bullet points was that uh, there's less ammunition in it than there was before. So I may be falling foul of that uh, change in design. All right, we're okay. Hello, shotgunners, bye. Alright, excuse me, get out of the way, thank you. Trying to find some safety here. Alright, I, th I think I'm okay. I am, of course, going to be in trouble when I have to go back from this place. But for now, I'm relatively safe, I've got good cover, and what else does a Doom guy need?
I just, I just love the amount of detail in this map. It's not crazy over detailed, but it's got a lot of nice uh, lighting and terminals and switches and things. And load of rocket launchers as well. Oh! Somebody's uh, set up a little uh, hell shrine down here. This is a really good um, example of when hell's tearing away at reality. Oh, that box isn't quite long enough. <laughs> or is it? That's an impressive optical illusion. Or is, the, is this just uh, compressed a bit? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Well, hands up, didn't see that coming. Ah! Come on, then. Missed him. All right, let's do that again. We're about, uh, I think, halfway through the map now. We've gone from 400 and something to 200 and something. Armor at last, okay. That should save me maybe two shots before I'm absolutely dead. Oh, have I mentioned that Penny's in school now? Uh, it's, well, it's preschool, but uh, the important thing is that she's out of the house, and that's, <laughs> that's uh, the good thing for me. Um, but I'm just delighted that she's meeting other children now and she's uh, being able to play together. I was worried that uh, she would have difficulty letting go of us after being here for a year at home, but uh, honestly, if that school didn't close, she'd never leave. She loves it there. We always ask her, what did you learn today? And she said, oh no, no learning, we were just playing. And as long as she keeps on thinking that... I think she'll continue to like it. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I was going to say, but I've been so careful of the mancubuses. Uh, but I hadn't, really. Oh, good. Two shots. Sorry, I was, I was just thinking, is, that, is this quaking? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Some more of these, please. All right, so uh, I really liked the setup of that last room with the uh, ring and having to cope with the monkey by around it. So they've all lumbered into this room now, which makes them a lot easier. So where now? Whoop. Hmm. 
much less of an ammunition problem now. And I'm enjoying that. Right, chainsaw we've got finally as well. I think this is one of these maps where you think, surely there's got to be some room over room or 3D floors here somewhere, and uh, there haven't been yet. I could be wrong. I often am. At last. Hello. Oh, another switch to summon enemies. I like these uh, steps here. They're, they're, they're specifically placed for uh, diving out the window opportunities. Oh, hello. Didn't see that. Yeah, that was never going to work, was it? How did I get splayed by a Hell Knight from that amount of crampness? Let's uh, get the plasma gun out instead. Okay, I've sacrificed most of my health for it, but uh, it was just about worth it. Oh, just enemies everywhere now. Backpack! Oh, and some more blue armor, okay. Am I starting to be able to turn the tides of the ammo situation? It's still tight, but it's not as bad as it has been. Ah! That's a very sneaky trap, which I have used myself on more than one occasion. Make the player think they have advantage points and then slowly lower it into the pit of monsters. Oh, I thought I had black potions there for a minute. I was wondering what those were going to do, but uh, it was just the lighting. Oh, look, a crate on a pallet. You don't uh, often get detail like that in games. Alright, let's look back to this a bit. Oh. Okay. I just wanted to check if there were any more uh, bonuses down here that I might have missed. One bite in the face, please. All right. Couple, nothing much to speak of. Oh, ammunition, that's always good. All right. Really like the look of this room. All right. Uh, no, I already... Did I already come down there? No, that's just a very similar large lift. Okay. Here we go. Whoa! 
Bloody hell! Playing this game is not good for my uh, disposition. All right, you go and infight your way. BFG there. Whoa! I fell through the. <laughs> I fell through the fence. All right, uh, we'll be using that later. Oh, another secret. I'm not sure what compels me to press on certain computers above others. But, uh, my secret hunting uh, instincts have served me well today. That's an interesting place to put a monster, because you, you think you're going to go round the corner and have to prepare for something, and then suddenly there's something in front of you. So that's an example of when putting a monster in front of the player is actually worse for them, because they've already turned. That's an interesting uh, thing to notice. Oh, what an excellent little loop that was! And now we're uh, straight back to the red doors. Whoa! There's some GZ Doom trickery happening here. Was that a stealth monster? Nobody likes stealth monsters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that wasn't there before. So that's really interesting use of uh, the sector lighting change actions. So where now? I've I haven't been in there, or have I? All oh, right, this is the other side of that door that uh, rather frighteningly blacked me out. Ow! Oh, slightly too close to a barrel. Uh, let's uh, let's go with uh, what we have. 164 monsters still. Oh Christ! Here we go. Uh, maybe not that yet. I've just remembered the big pile of monsters that I left behind. Oh. I don't believe that. Here we go. Not quite. Let's do it again. Where did they come from? Oh, it's up the stairs. Oh, I got him. Right. Simple, clean, neat. Just realized there are 12 more secrets as well. This is an epic. What now? This one. You know what? Thank you. There he is. Yeah, stealth monsters you'll find are not all that well received within the community. But I think I can just about 
I'm just about to see it for demons because they have the Spectre variant anyway. And I've used a kind of stealth monster in the past uh, where they're completely invisible, but they're on water, so you see the splashes. Maybe if a monster had a unique noise that it made, and made fairly often while it was running around, then that'd be quite a good stealth monster. You had to l rely on your hearing instead of your sight to see it. Alright. Ah ha ha ha! That'll give me a bit of advantage. Okay, uh, it's time for this again. Yeah, that uh, just about did it. There's a lot of you here. Trying to, uh, trying to find a place where I can just let them in fight for a bit. Oh, here's one. Oh! Oh! It didn't explode! My BFG's defective. Get lost. Okay then, what can I do here? There, okay. Oh, he's, he can't do anything. Because uh, he's uh, on the stairs. I wonder if I pushed him there somehow, or uh, if he started off there. Oh, not more of them! Should be count myself lucky there's not an arch file among them. This sky is great as well, by the way. Looks like it was constructed, um... No, it looks like it's just a sky box, doesn't it? That, that, that must be what the, um... Separated bit off the map is. Uh, the one just to my left there. It looks too big to be that, though. Anyway, it looks good. That's the point. I love the, uh, building made out of sectors there. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to answer uh, to open that door from here. Aha! Secret way in. Ah! You never cease to surprise me. I like these, um, 
I keep on thinking you'll slip up once and there'll be a door that'll be openable. Uh, but I do like how there's this uh, scenery that uh, implies further places we can't get to. Oh no. So that opened this little door, okay. I forgot I was uh, trying to conserve ammunition uh, for the last half hour, really, but uh, there's a 3D floor. What have you got in there? A switch, okay. What have you got in there? This is interesting because I would normally think of that kind of thing as a secret, but it's obvious enough because you're, you're obviously going to investigate here and turn it around, and there it is. Ah. Am I coming close to the cage under Site 19? Just a little scare for me, was that it? Ah! All right. I was just seeing if that was, um... Wankers! So I was, I saw, I, I thought I saw if, if that would be a one-off or not, so I went back there and then I checked a different track. Oh dear. Where are all these monsters coming from? All right. So now I can creep round here. Get some bonuses, maybe? Ah! Alright. It was nice while it lasted. Right, let's go for you. Oh, something evil's down here. I saw that little skull flicker. Oh yeah, it's definitely... some Something about this, I've seen all these textures before, but something about this world makes me very uneasy about them anyway. That's uh, really well done. All right. I'm very, very wary of what's going to happen when I hit that thing. Um, 61 monsters to go. Let's do it anyway. That's no way that that's all, is there? Here we go! Oh, 
I am the luckiest person alive. Okay, never mind. Where's that arch file first? Just wondering if there was uh, something else to switch on the other side of them. The spine along the ceiling is a great touch. Oh, I don't think this was here before. Alright, I suppose I'm stuck down here. Oh, another one. Uh, uh. Oh no, 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 no. You're not going to do that. I'm going to look there. They're all going to turn to skulls. Any minute now. Here we go. Whoa! Cyber Demon! Cyber Demon! Okay, let's uh, run around while I take stock of the situation. Situation is run! Oh, I'd love to have had a bit few more cells! Ow! Oh, couldn't escape quite fast enough. No. Bye! More cells, please. Thank you. I oh, use a f few too many cells. Ow. That was a good hit. Oh, shame I ruined it. Ah, oh, this is getting difficult, isn't it? Ah, uh, that was probably not much of a hit at all. Need some health, need some health. Thanks. It's all tucked away in corners as well, that's very awkward, well done. Yeah, ow. They got a decent share each that time. Still 41 enemies. I was thinking this has got to be the end. Yep. 
Here we go. I can see them both now. That's good. It's kind of amazing that a rocket can only do 20 damage to a cyber demon sometimes. I mean, that's, that's a plasma bolt. Now that there's just one, I think I'm going to be okay. There we go. Door open, please. Oh yeah, I left all those um, I left all those monsters behind. That's great. <laughs> all right, so I never had to go back to them after all. All right, what an absolute epic of a map that was. Uh, I really liked all the detail in the tech base, and as it turned into hell, it got really uneasy, and uh, all the all the fights and everything were really interesting. Not a dull moment in that map. That was fantastic. You're not supposed to be down here. Turning back would have been better. Is it worse? Burn this wad. Well, that's a creepy message to end with. Uh, I do want to just see uh, what would have happened if I'd taken that other route. Was there another way into the base? Or would it have just joined up really quickly? Yeah, so, okay. So there's a little side passage down here that uh, didn't really have any consequence in the end. But yeah, what a map. Uh, well done, H. Jordan 159 and uh, I would really love to see more from you in the future, because uh, that was very enjoyable. And as soon as this lost soul dies there, that'll be the end of the video. Bye!